I want to give glory and praise to God. You know, there's nobody in this world who could give you the things that your heart desires like God. Oh, your husband could buy you this house or this car. That, pfft, who cares about the materialistic things? It's the love and passion and blessings and healing and miracles, caring and nurturing that God loves you and he gives you. On top of the materialistic things, which is a great blessing and a bonus, but just the love that you feel inside that somebody cares for you so deeply and passionately, you cannot even imagine, describe, you couldn't even, you could pull out the dictionary, you still couldn't even come up with the perfect word. God is so perfect. God is so perfect. Until you guys realize that and start listening to him and obeying him and doing right in his eyes, you will have no idea of the things and the blessings and the rewards that he will give you. Oh, yeah, he gives you a little this. He gives you. When you walk in obedience and do right in the eyes of God and follow his laws and his rules and his regulations and his will, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet couple of messages the Father has for y'all. One is Romans one twenty nine has the word debate in there. God is sick and tired of y'all with your debating. Especially when it comes to debating his word. Debate is a sin. It causes conflict. Words and thoughts that are not of God, not of Christ. So, yeah. Stop with the debates. Because you're all sinning. Be the better person. Be Christ-like. Shut your mouth, humble yourself, and walk away. Don't worry about their popping off at the mouth. Block and move around. Walk out the door, shut the door, move around. Stay away from the people that cause conflict and causes you to go. I mean, I, I'm sure you're trying to defend God. Good for you. But debating is a sin. So if you want to defend God, do it in a godly way, in a Christ-like way. Don't debate where it comes up with conflict and arguments and, and just evil thoughts, hostility and anger. You just open the front door and the back door and every window to every demonic force to come against you. Seriously, stop taking 25 steps back when you take one step forward. Okay? That message is from the Father. This is another message from the Father to y'all. Romans 2, 5 through 6. But thou, after thine hardness and heart that cannot repent, heapest up a treasure unto thyself wrath. Against the day of wrath and of the declaration of the judgment of God, who will reward every man according to his works. So, if you have repented and doing good, you have great treasures of rewards coming to you. But those of you that refuse to repent, you must understand that you are building a full treasure box of wrath. And he's going to keep hitting you and hitting you and hitting you. And it is going to be without mercy. You're constantly told. You either read his word and don't repent when it tells you. You hear people. He puts it on your heart, but yet you don't. Just know. That his wrath has not started on you. Oh, it's coming. And the more that you ignore him on that repentance, the more he's going to ignore you. He don't care how bad you need your, your prayer answered or, or what's going on. If you're losing a loved one or you need healing yourself or, or you need food or you need this or that. He doesn't care. He's fed up. Time is running out. Christ is coming back, and y'all just have a hardened heart like the Pharaoh. Like Pharaoh in Egypt. Hmm. Okay. A lot of you have come to me in prayer. Oh, Hesaba. Oh, Mother Hesaba. Oh, Hef. Oh, Miss H. Please pray for me. Please pray for me. Please pray for me. I do. The moment you ask me, I pray for you instantly. Well, you have a connection with God, and, and the moment you speak, he, he jumps and he listens, okay? And? Well, my prayer's not getting answered. I don't know what to do. Mm. 
He did answer your prayer with the word repent. So you want your prayer answered when he answered you. Do this and I will answer your prayer with whatever you need. But you don't. You ignore the R word. That is the most important thing. And you expect him to give you what you want. It's not going to happen. Simple as that. Because the moment you ask me to pray, I stop what I'm doing and I pray for you. And the instant, the instant, I say in Jesus' name, amen. He says, daughter, tell them I said to repent. And I tell you this. And yet you do not repent. And then you're upset with me saying, oh, you're not praying for me. I did. Oh, well, God's, uh, God's not listening to me. You're not listening to him. See how this works? Obey and you shall receive. See, he's going to be harder on y'all more than ever because time is running out and he's freaking out because y'all are being stupid and ignorant, deaf and blind and just, oh my goodness. I don't know how he tolerates y'all. Thank you, Lord, that you are the creator and not me. Because y'all don't listen. Y'all don't listen to the Father. But yet you want him to, oh, hear my prayer, Lord. Hear my prayer. I heard your prayer. And I said to do this and you don't do it. So you expect me to go ahead and give you what you want? He is the Father. Just like the Father of Earth. Just like your Mother of Earth. Just like your teachers. When you don't listen, you expect to be rewarded? Not going to happen today. Not going to happen today. Period. Simple as that. So when I reply to you and I tell you the father just said to repent and you don't, but yet you still want me to cry to him and beg and plead for you? Not going to happen for me either. You need to listen to God. And if he says to repent, I suggest you repent. Don't waste God's time. If you're not going to listen to him and obey him. He's tired of it. He's fed up. And I'm going to tell you, just the father and I are on the same exact page when it comes to understanding. You can only be so understanding. But when you're constantly misunderstood, why should we still understand? You're not understanding to God. When God is trying to keep you from going to hell, you just want to be, oh, just answer my prayers and let me do my own thing. Not going to happen anymore. No, it's not going to happen anymore. Why? Because time is running out. Why? God is fed up. Why? Because you're fixing to burn in hell if you don't straighten up. Simple as that. I'm going to always be bluntly honest with you because it is between you and God, not you, me and you. You don't like the things that come out of my mouth? Well, you know what? God speaks through me. You will go to hell. And there's very few that's going to be making it. So you need to obey the word of God. If God says to repent, repent. You're not losing anything but your ticket to hell. You're gaining immortal life you're gaining freedom you're gaining no more oh my goodness it's so hard to put into words you gain so much more you lose depression you lose anger you lose anxiety you lose frustration you but you gain so much blessings and honor and favor and praise and and miracles and healing but yet you refuse to repent how much more do you expect him to do for you if you cannot do back for him? Glory to God the Most High. He is so deserving for you to repent, but yet you're too blind to see that. I'm Mother Hefsman with Rise Up Dry Bones, Evangelical Power Ministry International.